Hello everyone, I'm Ankit Roteja and today I have something very interesting to share with you. Think about a child who constantly makes mistakes. He's told to never steal. He's told to not lie. People explain to him that the use of foul language is not acceptable. For a moment, it looks like that he's listening to you. He agrees, nods, apologizes and promises to not repeat the actions again. But nothing has changed. The child continues to indulge in all the objectionable acts repeatedly. Well, Facebook is like that child I'm talking about. Over the last few years, the social network giant has been slammed for violating user privacy, fueling hate and spreading disinformation. And the list of wrongdoings is extensive. Today I'm not going to get into the charges pressed against the world's biggest social network. All the scandals and controversies are out there for you to see. Instead, I'm going to talk about the three things that Facebook needs to fix as soon as possible to win back the trust of users. It's a video appeal to Mark Zuckerberg, the chief executive officer of Facebook. Facebook has been on an apology tour for a long time. For every mistake or fiasco that has been reported, the company has mostly reacted with the same answer, we apologize. A random Google search with the words Facebook apologizes gives you over 10 million results. No, I don't mean to say that Facebook has apologized this many times. But what I'm trying to highlight here is that the list of Facebook wrongdoings is quite long and endless. We also have a long list of apologies. In 2003, it started at Harvard. I apologize for any harm done. And nothing seems to be changing. Zuckerberg needs to relearn that apologies are good only if they are sincere. They need to come with a promise to do better. For instance, Facebook claims it has teamed up with civil rights groups and experts to develop more tools to fight hate speech. These groups and experts, however, say Facebook isn't committed. Or at least, the commitment is not translating into action. Zuckerberg should understand that when you apologize, you make amends and rebuild trust. And most importantly, you make sincere efforts to avoid mistakes from happening again. Secondly, I'm all up for new age technologies. But when it comes to tackling sensitive issues like self-injury, suicide and child exploitation, human intervention becomes very important. So here is another suggestion for Zuckerberg. You should increase your pool of human reviewers to deal with sensitive issues on priority. I mean, algorithms and artificial intelligence can never be as good as human content moderators when it comes to finding out, let's say, how dangerous a hate speech can be. Instead of looking at new acquisitions, Facebook should spend more money on hiring content reviewers who are well-versed with diverse cultures. Thirdly, we all understand that data is the new currency and Facebook makes billions of dollars from our data. Your data is used to serve you ads that you see on Facebook. And who makes all the money? Facebook. In 2019, Facebook's ad revenue was close to $70 billion. And in the second quarter of this year, Facebook earned $18.3 billion in advertising revenue. So if you think that you are getting to use Facebook for free, that's not how it is. There are no free lunches. But many people understand this. They don't want their data to be harvested and used by Facebook or any other corporation for that matter. I think Zuckerberg should take this seriously. He should introduce paid accounts for such people and charge a monthly or annual fee. The company needs to give this option to users, especially in times when data privacy is a matter of huge concern. That's all I have for now. I hope Zuckerberg watches this video and takes it as constructive feedback. All of us like using Facebook, but there is no denying that these issues need to be fixed on priority. If you too have any suggestions for Facebook, let us know in the comments. Thank you for watching.